Norwegian mackerel, also known as saba fish. Usually, this is a famous dish from Japan. Japanese people cook saba shiraki, also known as grilled mackerel. That's in Japan. Alright, folks, you can see that today we're going to do a grill this fish, but this is in our BK style. The next ingredient is you can see clearly that we have chill oil. This chili oil is made by our main chef in this RBK YouTube channel. Right, you can see here that we have fish powder, chill powder, turmeric powder, and salt. Right, folks, that's clear, I guess. Right, we also have Italian herbs to enhance the taste. You can see they have rosemary, basil, oregano, and parsley. I had grilled this fish using all of these Italian herbs, all four of them, you know, and it tastes splendid. Now, that's what you're gonna do. Right, we're going to go to the next step. See you in the next one. Folks, the first step is that you can see how elegant and beautiful this fish is. Now we have to pat it. Padding is a process when we eliminate the excess water in the fish, right? So first, it's very simple. You just place a tissue, a paper towel, on top of this plate, and then you place the fish, right? That's it, folks. Alright folks, we are finishing padding. Now I'm gonna season it with the spices that we have. You can see here that I showed you earlier. Right, first of all, I'm going to take first this first fish curry powder. I'm gonna place it like this. Make sure it spreads everywhere. Right? It's supposed to be evenly spread it evenly. So you're gonna get a spicy texture from Spread it evenly, okay? You don't you want to make sure everything is even, right? Alright folks, second so one is in the fish, you can see here how beautiful it is. Make sure you season both sides, okay? To make a spicy taste. Now what we're gonna do is don't put this in your hands, okay? It's safety tips, okay? Okay, now what we're gonna do is we have the chill oil right here. Now we're gonna use the spoon and spread it. Evenly. Both sides, okay? Make it even spicier. Right, the next side. Italian herbs, you can see we have rosemary and parsley and oregano and basil. Right, usually I use all four of these herbs, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Careful, right? Do you want to spread it on the floor, okay? First, we take off basil first, right? Put your hands like this. Okay, so Cut the grill paint on small flame. Right, now, this fish is ready to be grilled. Right, now that's what I'm going to do. And make sure folks, I'm going to give you a tip, each side, 3 minutes to be cooked perfectly. So, first of all, I'm going to put this fish in here. Okay. Okay, folks. Now you can see. Then, after I flip it, I'll show you again, folks. This fish is one side three minutes already checked. Alright, now it's time to change it. Turn it to the other side so both of can cook evenly. Alright, watch me, folks. I'm gonna turn this fish careful because sometimes it may stick so you don't want to use your fish, right? Alright, so careful, slow and steady. There you go. Alright, folks, always good. Alright folks, you can see how beautiful and gorgeous the total 6 minutes timer that we have waited for is already over. Both sides are cooked evenly, so now it's time to change it to the plate. See how I'm doing it folks, and make sure you don't want the skin to stick out, so it looks not nice, okay? You don't want to lose the skin, but the skin part is most delicious. Okay, look for this, how we have to do it. 
right carefully transported to this white plate that's it folks gorgeous isn't it let me show you the other side oh see the crisscross cut is totally beautiful we have changed this elegant fish into an extra tremendous elegant fish that's it folks now i show you the final step to enhance the taste yeah, you can see that the grilled seba mackerel is already ready with all the spices and Italian herbs that we do. Mmm, the fragrance is right flying there, right through my nose. Alright, so the final touch that I say to you is, I know most of you know this, lemon juice. Alright, now we're just going to do it. We're just going to take this lemon juice and then spread it. That's all, folks. It's going to be a juicy tremendously delicious gorgeous fish try this fish all right folks like share and subscribe our bk do not miss to watch our videos and if any question about on how to do this chill oil please put down a comment below we'll definitely we'll definitely show you on how to do this chill oil all right try this dish definitely whoever tries this they will turn japanese dish all right that's all folks, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, please.